you are driving through downtown Detroit on a normal day, the <laughs> speed limit rarely gets above 25 miles per hour. <laughs> but over the next few days, you're going to see cars moving closer to 200 miles per hour. Yeah, so the Motor City is uh, living up to its name as the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix returns to the D. It is a must-see event that hasn't been hosted here in Detroit since the early 90s. Fox 2's Robin Murdoch is live with a grand preview this morning. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Yeah, it has not been on the streets of Detroit since 1991. So this is a huge deal that the Detroit Grand Prix is coming back to its roots. As you guys mentioned, it is a 1.7 mile track, nine different turns, speeds. The minimum will be right around 180. They're expected to go a lot faster than that, closer to 200 miles per hour. Obviously, today is free pre-day. They're expecting some big crowds, and as Lori just mentioned, a little bit ago. We've also got some hot weather that's going to be happening out here today. I'm going to bring in Dr. D. He is the medical director for the Detroit Grand Prix and I imagine you guys are going to be uh, pretty busy today with all of those people heading down to kind of check out the sights and sounds and all the action. Yes, yes we are. Well, good morning. Thank you for having us. Yes, uh, we, uh, we usually know that when we have our hot days during the Grand Prix, that's when we see a lot more volume than we normally do. Like we did last year when it was nice and 70 and, you know, <laughs> overcast a little bit. It was beautiful. So we have uh, uh, significant plans in place. Uh, you know, should we have significant uh, numbers of patients uh, or spectators or workers presenting with heat related illnesses. You know, we have uh, three first aid stations uh, around the venue. We have a large track medical center, and then we have 13 roving golf cart medical teams. So uh, we are in place uh, to provide care. Uh, we are on the lookout for people that are needing our assistance. But, you know, we just want to tell everybody, you know, stay cool, uh, stay well hydrated. Uh, remember when you're sweating, you're losing water and you're losing electrolytes. So you may want to hit an electrolyte replacement drink, you know, limit the alcohol, maybe less than usual. And if you're feeling warm, find some shade. And if that's not working, find one of us and we'll be happy to take care of you. Does it present an interesting problem or getting to people with the track being sprawled all around the city in comparison just to being on Belle Isle before? Yes, absolutely. You hit it on the head. You know, the, the venue is broken up into color zones. There's four color zones. And what we tried to do is we try to make every color zone have a equal number of roving medical units and at least a first aid station or a track medical center so in it by itself it will be self-sufficient wow well thank you so much for those Thanks tips for this morning us. dr d uh, you want to make sure that you drink plenty of water when you are out here at the grand prix again today free pre-day expecting some huge crowds we're going to continue our live coverage throughout the morning so of course stay with us i'll send it back to you guys in the studio